Anyone else wish to speak? Councillor Hill. Councillor Hulse has been around for quite a long time since the town basin, that's correct. And um, I just say to him, the town basin actually isn't working very well. Um, the Dolls Museum, the Fish Museum, the, the, um, the art shop, the restaurant, it is, it is empty. As well as the town basin having trouble financially, the whole of this town has trouble. And what I can't understand, I'm prepared to spend this $100,000 for assessment, that's all right, but to spend the amount of money required for a referendum where I can use my best skill and judgment, reading all this information, and when I know what people are telling me, I don't need a referendum. Now, I will probably vote for a referendum because if that's the only way to get this proposal over the line, and that's because in my heart I believe totally that it is the right thing for this community, but it is such a waste of money to go for a referendum when we've been told. We've got two ears and one mouth. I meant to listen and the proportion we've got. I don't feel that there's much listening going on at all. There's just grandstanding and there's a whole lot of balls. As far as, <laughs> as, far as yeah, lots and lots of words. As far as um, the cost of doing that, is that, the other thing is that why can't people see that the financial implications for the hunter bus of Dwyer <coughs> give us a profit. There's nothing else in this whole community that we own that gives us a profit, a half a million dollar profit. That is just something that's an extraordinary gift that has been put together by our community, by our community leaders. It's just such a shame to resort to this. So as I say, I will vote for it because I believe the front of us needs to happen. I see it as the only way for it to happen, but this is not the right way. Uh, yes, I will have to lend my support to this. I would have been I would have preferred that we had got to an outcome today. I believe I've been elected to make a call when I am presented with all the information. I believe that it's part of my role to stand up and be counted. And I want to leave one thing with councillors. If we had subjected everything that we have built around our assets, including the two bridges that Councillor Hulse has just mentioned, and a whole range of other things, if they had been subjected to this scrutiny, we would not have a city. We would not have a city, and I will leave you to that. I'm sick of hearing councillors mention each other by name. It's just not a long exchange. That's right, we've got the bridges. They're fine. They're working well, Sarah. Need to get over them. Yeah. Councillor Williamson. I like Councillor extremely well in relation to the bigger, I think this, this indicates uh, a lack of uh, boldness in relation to our ability to make decisions. Um, but I have a sense that um, the only way to move forward and resolve things is to go through the referendum process. With the roadway, that the harbour side project is as it is now is subject to the professional scrutiny and uh, operational cost and uh, visitor numbers. Uh, because it's a job. Uh, and, but, but candidly, uh, you know, <laughs> motion but yeah. I'll support this um, because I do have always said in, in the um, even on the election campaign I said okay no stand on this the rate power needs to be asked okay we go to a referendum it might cost us 80 odd thousand I think that was a bigger um, band around last week but that 80 thousand just might save us a few million dollars each year if the hunt of us goes on <laughs> I think we have seen today that the council continues to be divided. We've actually have had two um, opportunities to make a decision today, one to reject the Hundabasa, which we rejected, one to support the Hundabasa, which we rejected. So we are now back in a position where uh, this recommendation, I think, is the 
this is the best of a bad bunch, if you like. Um, my concern is that demolition, actually, just to address that issue, has been, has been thrown up as a bit of a straw man, I think. And I think it's something that all sides probably would actually start coming further on and saying that none of us actually want to see um, demolition. And I just urge people to remember that we're looking for a win-win, not a lose-lose, because if we demolish the building, then nobody's actually going to win at all. So um, at the moment, I'm supporting this recommendation. Any other councillors wish to speak? Councillor Glenn. Yeah. Well, at least we have it all run from the room crying today. Quite proud of it. <laughs> so, seriously, if we can stop niggling, stop it right now, stop calling people or things or buildings, dogs, or whatever the comment was, and let's show that we're not a disgrace to the community. Let's show that we can actually be fair-minded and make the best man win, the best team, the best woman, whatever you want to say. May the best one win, and we will be happy about that. If it's good, it will. If it's not, it won't. I don't know how, it's going to, going to, how, you, how you make it happen, but no doubt the lobbying will be hard and furious and fast. Let the games begin, I say. I've heard, I've been hearing over and over this great opportunity that we now let it slip by. But I do wonder why you would have thought it would have been different from an eight to six vote. I, I can't see anyone thinking that that was going to change. We've known that from way back. I can't understand why we've even done what we've done today. Basically, it was quite, it was quite pointless if I say it like that. When you try to force something on the people, they back further back. And that is the truth. You try it. You just try it. We've seen it. Don't force the issue. Be humble about it. Be fair about it. And it could happen. The more you push, the further it will go. And that's what's happened in here today. There has been that continual, I'm never going to hear you or listen to you. I'm just pushing you out of the way because I know more than you. This is the way to prove, this is the way and the only way to prove what our people are really thinking. Then all the statistics and all the evidence, the proof will be there. I'm just really excited about this. We have also the other thing I just want to clarify, I've been hearing that um, The people want it now because it's been funded. How do we know? This is what I keep asking myself. How on earth do we know if the people want something just because it's been funded without asking them? And we do need to ask. I've been half on about this for too long, so I'm not going to go too long today. I am excited to think that this is going to happen. It's what I've wanted all week with Brian and I were talking about it. I thought, what's the chance? And I'm really pleased to see that there's some common sense in here at last. Councillor Christie. I'm a little amazed at Councillor Pulse's come to this community again. I, when when councils make a, a pen in here, they invite an opinion back. That is debate. I am saying it politely and nicely. Tag it the way you want to. When Council Holt was Deputy Mayor and Mayor, the uh, Acting Mayor, last term, he was strongly, strongly promoting Hunterbars. Fronting up to the public, saying that's what I want to do. He now says that I've been involved with the, the demo base all those times, and we need it to pull back the public. What is your point, Councillor? Like the, 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 the topic is the, is the hunter bus, not Councillor Holt. I'm not. So, I didn't get Councillor So what I'm questioning. Goodness. <laughs> 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 uh, refer to the 
motion that's been on the table. Oh. The comments that made it is actually unbelievable. From those people who have been in those positions and then but not even saying, yes, I got it wrong, I've changed my mind. I remember putting the same question last term to council for referendum. I lost. I lost. Several new people voted for it. All of a sudden now, you have the public around and say, oh, no, let's go back to the referendum. It just staggers me. And all of a sudden, it's now perfectly right what you want to do. Without saying, I've got it wrong, at least council again says, yes, I've got it wrong, has told me, I've got it wrong, I should have had gone with me last time. Fine. But these people say, it's just a hypocrite to me. And this is another way where we cannot use our skill and judgment in judging public opinion in our own way. And, you, and people say, we don't get enough information. And then we, the next person says, I'm getting overload on emails and I don't answer them. And it is amazing that, that, that which is a modern way of communicating. And we accepted it last yesterday at our long term plan uh, and our policy that we'll look at communicating people by email systems. And we said, oh, no, we can't, I don't like that when I get a hundred emails in two days. It just staggers me that we cannot use that skill and judgment that we are supposed to exercise when we signed an oath. And we sometimes, some of us here, the people in here, have all of a sudden changed their mind because all of a sudden, that's what I have to do. It's just amazing. Christy? Martin. I say, don't be afraid to ask the people. And I have used my skill and judgment when the argument is lost, some people tend to get personal, and that's pretty tragic in here. And there will be consequences of some of them. The proposal five seemed to have a questionnaire. This is, and no criticism of any other project. Most of the other proposals have been positive. Several of them have phoned me and asked me what happened to their proposal and how things are going. And I think that we should treat them all fairly and reasonably because they made the effort. And I don't think that um, dissing is the way to go. I think it's a disgrace. One of the questions, do you think this proposal is appropriate and fits in and enhances the maritime riverside surrounds? Good question. These are the questions that the proposer has put to us to ask. Get in first. Do you think this proposal celebrates cultural identity, local culture? Do you think this proposal contributes to an agreed and coherent overall result for Wonga A? Good questions. Not directed at anyone and not wrecking any other proposal. There's a whole list of them. Do you think the proposal takes on the long term views and allows for different forms of care over time? Just excellent questions that these people are asking to assist with this. Um, another one. Do you think this proposal involves the local community in meaningful decision making? And finally, why are you rushing such an important decision that is, has such long term effects on the people of Bongara? But at least they ask questions that are positive, that require a positive response, and that's what we need to be doing. All of this, this carry on, I actually think that the um, new proposal for Hunter Buster is much better than the old one. Much, much better. And had we had more time, giving people six or seven weeks to come up with something when another group have had seven years, it's not long enough for them to put it together. May well be that we, we got rid of the other proposals, that they didn't make the threshold, but we should have at least given them the opportunity to make the threshold. We may well have gone with the hundred of us approaching, had we been given the time and gone through all of the other proposals, it might have been the only last man standing as Councillor Krista referred to last week. That is good, but we haven't given the time, and I will be supporting a referendum. That's really nice. Uh, thank you, Worship. Uh, I'd actually like to spare a thought to 
to those who have been involved with raising funding for the Hunabasa. Uh, it's no easy task. Uh, I've been involved with fundraising. Uh, they were given a direction by previous councils to go out and fundraise. It's not easy. Uh, they got it over the line on the funding side. Uh, I feel we dropped the ball, to use the analogy. Uh, I reluctantly uh, will support the recommendation. Uh, I feel that I was elected to make a decision. I've got the courage to make a decision. Uh, and I've got that right to express that. When I have a look at the three options that we now have in front of us, they are three options. I feel confident that the Hondabasa revised project will come out again. Uh, and I, I do that in a way that uh, when we have a look at these three proposals, I, I would hope that the undertaking of the analysis of them uh, is undertaken by an international firm and has that level of scrutiny. Uh, I feel that if they don't look at providing economic benefit, and before we looked at Catalyst for Growth, Councillor Cutforth, as part of the matrix, if they come back to a sense of place and it looks like that that is the driver, there isn't an economic return in terms of the Hunabasa, then I feel the third option is an option, and that's demolish the building. It sat there for 15 years why this council cannot make a decision. And if this analysis comes out, uh, and we, we have that information, then what are the other opportunities that funding can be put to in terms of the, uh, for example, the Hatia loop? I saw some interesting uh, parts of the proposals that were put forward, such as an urban beach, and I've seen how, what an attraction that is in Cairns, and how it enables uh, youth in the centre of the city to get to something that they normally can't get to. So I'm not wedded to the idea of the NRC building. What I see is that the analysis that now takes place needs to be fair, reasonable and well considered. Uh, reluctantly, another referendum, well, a referendum. Uh, I'll support that, but I, I, in doing that, I just want to spare a thought to those who have been involved for many hours, many months and many years in raising finance for this proposal. Uh, I thank you for that. I thank you for your commitment uh, to this city and being able to put time in to do that. Uh, rest assured, it's appreciated from myself. Thank you, Your Worship. Any other councillors wish to speak? Councillor Cutworth. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, We are looking at which project to pursue. We had an opportunity to have an and then We have a win-lose potential ahead of us. And while I have every belief that as other councils have stated, possibly if we give all of the information to our public and we follow a good process, then maybe we may well end up with one of us being built at the, at the town base. But it's ruling out the excellent opportunities we've had with other proposals. This recommendation determines which project to pursue. It doesn't, it's not an and, and or and or, it's one of them. Pick one. We had the opportunity to pick winners, not just a winner. Fundamentally, when it comes to a referendum, you've heard me speak on this before, I do not believe a referendum is the way to go. Because the return that we get from referendum normally is very low. If we get a 20% or a 30% return, and of those people, there's a 51% votes for one project, 
that's not, a, for me, that is not a clear indication of which project the community wants. Some members of the community will not participate in the referendum. Some will just, it, we know that voting papers ended up in a rubbish bin. Those people's voices are surely also deserve to be heard. So fundamentally, I do not agree with the referendum. If it were binding, if we set the bar very high and said, if there's a 60% return, and of that, we have a, oh, then I would be happy. But I can, I, in fact, if, if this goes ahead, and clearly there is support, if we get 60% return, hallelujah, the people will have spoken. But if we get a very small return, then we are basing our decision on a very small portion of our community who get involved in the process. Up until now, a huge number of people have been involved in this process. They've been very clear. I've heard the feelings of this community. And I believe today was the day for the decision, so I will not support the motion that Councilman Dropkin has put forward. Right at the point. Just briefly, Your Worship. Um, you talk about bridge down there to my other co um, that was over 10 years in planning, 10 years it took us to get that bridge in. And it was, a, it was a pretty opportunity, opportunity to be quite up there. So if it's going to take us 15 years to do the DRC building, imagine how great that's going to be. So I'll leave you there. I'll put the motion. The division has been called. All those in favour, please hold your hand. Councillors Morgan, Bell, Deeming, Williamson, Bretherton, McLaughlin, Martin, Glenn, Herman, Pulse, Cutforth, Innes. All those against? Your Worship, the Mayor. And abstain? Abstaining. Motion is carried. That brings to a conclusion our meeting today. I thank the members of the gallery. Members of the press, members of the staff, and all the people.